This is a very short adjunct to the previous videos I did on perceptions as it relates to the precious metals markets. In the previous videos I talked about perceptions, but our overlords also engage in misdirection. They prefer to keep people's attentions away from precious metals and focused instead on currencies. In terms of assessing their strength, currencies can be regarded in relation to each other. Our overlords would very much want people to focus on currency pairings like the euro-dollar pairing or the yen-dollar pairing rather than comparing the dollar or any other currency to gold. But fuck them and fuck what they want. Don't let them dictate to you. If you're interested in currency pairings, I've done a video saying that the best way to view the dollar and other currencies is to see the dollar as being the best apple in a basket of rotten apples. Focus on the stock market likewise is, in my opinion, a form of misdirection, a distraction technique carried out by the mainstream media, the MSM. Look over there, not over here kind of thing. The stock market is not the be-all and end-all of an economy. It's only one sector. Moreover, to my mind, it's a relatively poor representation of the real underlying economy and has been for some considerable time. There's no proper connection between the stock market and the economy. The stock market can be regarded as an entirely separate entity to the economy. The place you should be focusing on is the debt market, as Gregory Manorino of Trader's Choice on YouTube refers to it as. The debt market is the bond market. Bonds represent government debt. Mr. Manorino advises viewers that that's where we should be looking, and I agree. We are soon going to go through a cataclysmic event, a debt disaster, currency crisis, the like of which we haven't seen for many generations. And when this happens, the stock market will crash, falling maybe 80% or more. At that point, stocks and shares will go to true market value. In the aftermath, the only thing left standing, in my opinion, will be precious metals, gold and silver and other commodities, hard assets basically. So in short, focus on the stock market is a misdirection, as is focus on currency pairings. I split this topic into a number of videos, so there is another however many to follow. In the next video, I'll focus on valuations. Wise up and rise up.